Hey, it's really good to see you again. And I'm glad you're here. <laughs> yeah. It almost feels like I'm doing these daily, but... I'm not. <laughs> there may be a couple days where I don't, you know, partake or go into the land, this land, this world. Yeah. A couple days where I may need a little break from Minecraft. As much as I love this game, it's such a good game. I, <laughs> I'm making it sound like I never played this before, but believe me, I, I have. I have. Oh, there we go. So I think what we're going to be doing is go to the nether. But we also, um, we're going to make some diamond armor. But do we have enough? No, we don't, sadly. Nine. Oh, don't tell me I'm going to be missing some stuff. <gasps> no, I just have enough. I just have enough. You know what? I'm okay with that. I'm totally fine with that. Okay. We don't have a diamond sword. But it would be nice to have one, but we don't. Anyways, I'm willing to risk it. I'm willing to risk it to have good armor, a good experience in the nether. I hope things would go well. I could only hope, right? You just have to be careful. Um, enchanting could be done at a later time, but I do want to make sure, um, sorry doggy, <laughs> I do want to make sure we'll be okay. Oh, I hope you guys are doing fine, like I said. Remember, liking, subscribing, commenting on videos, they help a lot. You know, there are moments where I feel like nobody cares, but no, people do care. You care. And I'm happy for that. You know, we're not perfect. I'm not perfect. I don't think I could ever be perfect. And I'm okay with that. Here we are. Oh, this is the worst spot we could... Uh-oh. This is literally the worst spot that we could end up in. <laughs> okay. Get out of here. Can we? Can we get out? Yes, we can. Good. We need to clean up this area. A little bit. Ooh, I like these blocks. The magma blocks. It would be really cool if we could change color, you know? Like, we could add a dye to them and have a different color. Oh, no, 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 no. Damn it. I did not want to go back. This is risky, isn't it? Too risky. Oh, it's not too risky. I just gotta be careful. Come on, let's go. Let's go back. Why are you taking forever? It's taking forever. That's really weird. Come on. Let's go. There we go. I just want to um, make sure it's safe to come out of the closet. <laughs> Oh, for real, I do want to make sure it's it's safe to, um... Let me have some lighting, so we're good. Let's go this way. So, yeah, I did mention about perfect, right? That I'm not perfect. And that's kind of one thing, that's another thing I wanted to talk about, at least talk about today. Is that nobody is perfect, not even you. But isn't it funny how we all try to strive for, like, some sort of perfection? 
you know, we try to have the cleanest setup, the nicest setup, the most minimal setup, or the most decorative, the most something, right? And what I find interesting in that is the way we define perfect can in a way both be um, common and very um, very individual, very specific. So basically what I mean is what I think is perfect is, you know, my definition of perfect is very different than your definition of perfect. Right, we gotta get out of the nether some- not get out of the nether, but we gotta find a way out of this area, so we're probably gonna have to dig up or down or straight. And it's such a constant thing how we're chasing after perfection, especially when it comes to how we live our lives and our bodies, the way we look. We're too caught up in the imperfections that make us feel negative rather than embrace it in which could make us feel positive. And it's like, why? Why chase for something that is so impossible? And I get it, we have beauty standards and beauty standards be damned. <laughs> you know, we could tell them to go fuck themselves. Definitely, beauty is, def is in the eye of the beholder. And if anybody asked me, Hey, Canis, what is your type? It's very hard for me to say. Because there's many different factors that go into, you know, what could be my type. There is no one perfect type. You may think so for, you know, if you want to believe that, but I would bet that that's not really, uh, that's not really a thing. And I guess it's something that we have to be okay with, right? It's okay that we have these certain imperfections in our bodies. It's okay that we haven't gotten everything figured out. Oh. Oh, we gotta go down now. <laughs> okay. Well, anyways, it's okay that we have these imperfections in our bodies. It's okay that we haven't figured everything out. You know, life isn't perfect, like people say. There are moments where we will be down in the dumps. We will have negative experiences. Life is never meant to be perfect. In fact, I don't even understand what perfect is or why it's ever really a thing. I guess it's a way where we just chase after something that is impossible because it gives us something to um, strive for. So even though we know it's not, we're never going to be perfect, it doesn't hurt to try to be our best selves. Does that make sense? I mean, I could only ho hope that it makes sense. Because hey, if you think I'm perfect, even though I'm not, thank you. I think you're perfect too, just the way you are. Even if we're not. Even if you're not. I guess being perfect is like a... Um, it's not an objective thing, it's more subjective. And if you just, you know, take it as such, as subjective, learn to appreciate the uh, imperfections in your life and imperfections in your mind and your body. And if you catch them and you try to make an effort to be better, then that's, that's a good thing because... It's all about being better than you were, you know, yesterday, or a week, or a year from now. And if you could do that, then more power to you. I think that's... 
my dog. I think that's leading a good life. That's starting off on the right foot. That's having a good mindset. And, and I think my dog wants to be part of this conversation. <laughs> I love Edna. She's a good girl. She's not perfect, but to me, she's perfect. In fact, dogs are perfect. And that's objective. <laughs> I sometimes think we don't deserve dogs. They're too pure. They're too kind. They're too loving. Only bad dogs are just trained. You know, trained wrong. Trained to be bad. But... If you train a dog to be good and wholesome and kind, they will be. Because I really do think dogs kind of reflect the owner, you know? Ow. Get out. Leave. Shoo. Oh my god. Well, at least this diamond armor is coming in, coming in clutch. Which is good. Good. I don't have to suffer too much. Trying to be really careful here because we're in territory that is very dangerous and i don't want to die i don't want my stuff to get um burned or <laughs> melted or what have you destroyed deleted i'd be really upset because of all the diamonds that we found or i found all for nothing. Or a short little trip <laughs> to the nether. But we are in a very interesting place. At least where we ended up in our portal. It's pretty safe. We made it safe. probably use these for like buildings or something. I don't know. Can I? <gasps> Polished. Nice. Well, it can be used to build something. Build something nice. I like that. Imagine making this place your home. Good luck. Good luck trying to live here. I mean, it's not perfect like we talked about. I mean, it's far from perfect. It's not, it's not possible. Or maybe it is, but it's challenging. <laughs> Anyways. We're going to continue on, on the nether soon. Next time we will. But it was really nice. Good to see you again. And hey, don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, if you really like these videos. And we could definitely have a discussion, you know? Remember, you're not perfect, and neither am I. And that's completely okay. Embrace it. Embrace the imperfections. Until next time. <laughs>